Welcome to the Great Monster Baking Show. Meet Max, our tiny but mighty host. Today, three silly monsters are competing in a cookie baking contest, and you get to help. Here come our contestants. First up is Glimmer, fuzzy, blue, and always washing his paws. Second is Ziggy, a shy purple baker with a brilliant brain. And for the third baker, meet Blob, bouncy, green, and just a little clumsy. Will they follow the steps? Will they finish on time? Let's find out. Time to start baking. There are 10 steps to make the yummiest monster cookies ever. First, wash claws. Second, put on colorful baking hats. Third, gather ingredients. Fourth, measure flour. Fifth, add rainbow sprinkles. Sixth, crack shiny sparkle eggs. Seventh, pour in vanilla milk. Eight, stir with a big wooden spoon. Ninth, scoop dough onto trays. Tenth, Bake in the glowing oven. Remember, following steps in the right sequence is super important when you're baking. The cookies are baking. And it's time for a lightning round challenge. Glimmer, can you pick the right order of baking steps before the timer runs out? Is it? Option A. Wash claws, put on colorful baking hats, gather ingredients. Option B. Gather ingredients, wash claws, put on colorful baking hats. Option C, wash claws, gather ingredients, put on colorful baking hats. Or, option D, gather ingredients, put on colorful baking hats, then wash claws. Quick, quick, shout it out before the oven dings. A wash claws, put on colorful baking hats. Gather ingredients. And the right answer is A washcloths. Put on colorful baking hats. Gather ingredients. Good job, Glimmer. Next up, Ziggy, it's your turn. Match the recipe instruction to the correct step number. When do we measure the flour? Is it Option A, first step. Option B, second step. Option C, fourth step. Option D, fifth step. Think carefully, Ziggy. The cookies depend on you. I think it is option D, fifth step. Ah, oh, nice try, Ziggy. But option D, the fifth step, isn't quite right. Remember, that's when to add rainbow sprinkles. The real answer is... Option C, the fourth step. That's when to carefully measure the flour. Measuring ingredients is super important, and it comes before the fun decorations. All right, Blop, here's a tricky one. What step comes right after putting on colorful baking hats? Is it option A, wash claws. Option B, stir the batter. Option C, gather ingredients. Option D, Pour in vanilla milk. Don't sneeze into the answer. Blop, pick the right one fast. It is option C, gather ingredients. Blop, you got it. Option C, gather ingredients, is absolutely correct. Nice work, Cookie Champ. We always start by gathering what we need. Flour, eggs, sprinkles, and... Maybe a napkin for your sneezes. And they're off. The monsters are racing to decorate their cookies. Who will finish first? It's Ziggy speeding ahead. Ziggy finishes first. Amazing work. Right behind him, it's Glimmer. Glimmer finishes second with a sparkle. And here comes Blop. Blop finishes third with a splatter of icing everywhere. What a race.
Let's call out the winners again. First place, Ziggy. Second place, Glimmer. Third place, Block. That's how we use ordinal numbers to show who finished in what place. Way to go, Baking Champions! Did you know that first is spelled F-I-R-S-T? We say first when someone finishes at number one. If you're first, you zoomed across the finish line fastest. Just like Ziggy. Next is second. It's spelled S-E-C-O-N-D. Second means coming right after first. Way to go, Glimmer! Then comes third. We spell it T-H-I-R-D. Third means you were the third to finish. Still a champion? Ask Blop. Now fourth. F-O-U-R-T-H. If you're fourth, you're the next one after third. Let's go to fifth. F-I-F-T-H. Fifth is the one who finished after fourth. Halfway high fives. Now for sixth. S-I-X-T-H. Sixth means number six in the race. Then seventh. S-E-V-E-N-T-H. Seventh means you are the seventh to finish your cookie. Next is eighth. E-I-G-H-T-H. -H. Eighth means you are the eighth one done. Now ninth. N-I-N-T-H. Ninth is finishing just before last. And finally, tenth. T-E-N-T-H. Tenth means you crossed the finish line at number ten, and you still made something amazing. Time for our final lightning round challenge. Let's see how much you remember from today's monster baking show. Ziggy, you're up first. Match the decorator to the right spot. Which monster decorated the cookie second? Option A. Blop. Option B. Glimmer. Or option C. Ziggy. Think carefully, Ziggy. The cookie championship is on the line. I think it is option B. Glimmer. Ziggy, you nailed it. Option B, Glimmer, is the right answer. He decorated his cookie second. Way to go, buddy. You're getting the hang of those ordinal numbers like a true baking boss. All right, Glimmer, it's your moment to shine. Here's your challenge. Who finished decorating first? Option A, Ziggy. Option B, Blop. Or option C, Glimmer. Choose wisely. Glimmer. Every sprinkle counts. Option A. Ziggy finished first. Option A. Ziggy is the correct answer. Nice work, Glimmer. Blop, it's time to show off those spelling skills. How do you spell the word for third? Option A. T-H-I-R-D. Option B, T-H-U-R-D. Option C, T-H-E-R-D. Or option D, T-H-A-R-D. Take your best guess, Blop. Spell it right and you'll be crowned cookie champ. It's option A, T-H-I-R-D. Boom, Blop, you spelled it right. Option A, T-H-I-R-D, is the correct way to spell third. That's some seriously sweet spelling. From baking to brain power, you're on a roll. Just keep the flour out of your nose this time. Congratulations, bakers, and you for completing the challenge. Today, we learned how to follow steps in order. We learned how to tell who's first, second, and third. And we practiced writing ordinal numbers. You did it! Keep using your math superpowers every day, whether you're baking, lining up, or telling a story. Until next time, keep learning and keep having fun.